Low world, Mike with Newfound Pass with this week's What Sold video. I have 25 items across two eBay accounts, 20 on my main account, 5 on my second account. And we are going to just jump right in. First up on the main account, we have a pair of Nike jogging warm-up pants. I have the style number on there. These are brand new at the tags. Men's double extra large, good size, brand new at the tags. In on these for about... 10 or 15 bucks can't remember probably closer to the 10 and uh had these up for just a few months i was asking a good 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 price on these 69.98 and that is what they sold for full asking uh plus shipping on those there's the tag just uh just super nice little pants there love my brand new with the tag stuff everyone knows that Next up, an Eddie Bauer black label. That's their one of their older vintage labels, the black label. I'll show you that there. See that? Yeah, that was still made in the USA back when they still made stuff in the USA. So really, really good condition. This was almost like new, but obviously it didn't have the tag. So listed as pre-owned, 100% uh, goose down, puffer, puffy vest. Uh, just a really, really nice vest. And I got this for about $7.50. Had this listed for $79.19 plus shipping, and that's exactly what it sold for. Full asking plus shipping. And this shipped to the West Coast, so shipping was kind of high on this. But uh, yeah, really, really nice uh, profit on that item. <clears throat> Next up, an Art Pottery Bowl. This is Luna Garcia, 7.5 inch signed with the original sticker. We pick stuff like this up all the time for just a buck or two because this is a underutilized field in the uh, flipping world and thrift stores and stuff. And so yeah, just a buck or two on this. And the thing about this type of stuff, you can get it cheap. There's a lot of it out there, so you got to know what you're looking for and look stuff up. And it is long tail. Like this one probably took about a year to sell. But we had a buck or two into it, and it sold for $42.98 plus shipping. Full asking on that. Just a really, really nice hand-thrown bowl. There's the tag on the bottom. I think I got a close-up here. Yeah. And the, the original sticker's on it, and the signature's underneath the sticker. But we left the sticker on, obviously. So, yeah. Really, really nice on that one. Next up, we have this Nautica Competition uh nc83 sleeveless sweatshirt this isn't just a shirt this is the heavy duty fabric the sweatshirt sleeveless sweatshirt uh picked this up for like three dollars and fifty cents or so took a little while to sell had it listed for 32.99 plus shipping and we took a best offer of 27 dollars plus shipping on that item Next up, this magic clown circus train from 1981 by playmates uh this was new in the package. The package was wrecked, which I denoted, you know, a new old stock. The package was extremely shelf worn. Picked this up for only like $5 and there was zero comps on this. Nothing, no comps or research to be had anywhere. Google, eBay, or otherwise worth point. None of it. So what did I do? I do what I do. I have priced it extremely high knowing that I wouldn't get that price, but put a best offer on it. Let me show you some of the pictures here. Yep, brand new, but the package was just wrecked. Made in Hong Kong. There's the 1981 Play World Toys. Yeah, look at the package, just wrecked. So I had this listed for $239.99 plus shipping. Ludicrous, right? Yep. But I got an offer of $100 plus shipping, and I took it. So $100 plus shipping. This is the item, if you watch my live shows, this is the item that the guy is a professional partial refund hunter. The His eBay account has over 3,200 feedback, so he knows exactly what he's doing. He made that, you know, I took 100 bucks on an item I had listed for 240 So regardless whether you what you think this item is worth, I took less than half what I was asking. And then when he got it, he claimed that the clown that there's a very good picture of right here had a chip on its nose 
and maybe that's the case. You see on the edge there, there may be a piece of paint missing, but I looked pretty closely at this and I don't remember seeing anything. And you see on his lip there, there's a little bit of paint, but with the offer I took on this, the, the dude should have saw that as well. I see it, you know, I should have probably taken a better picture of it, but he basically demanded a, a partial refund and I told him no. I told him he could send it back in his original condition and uh, yeah, never heard anything else from him, but he was, he knew exactly what he was doing. So anyway, beware of those partial refund hunters. They're professionals. Next up, this Brother Opus Model 550 electric stapler. Uh, had this for a while and, and uh, lowered the price down really low. I think I was asking 30 something for it. I only gave 2 or $3 for this, and it was working, tested. Lowered the price to $14.98 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for, $14.98 plus shipping. Probably a pass on this next time unless it's new in the box. Next up, the last Mossy Oak Obsession Camo Turkey Vest, and it has a cushion seat attached to it, brand new with the tags. I picked up three of these all at the same time for $15 a piece and sold all three of them. Now, this is the last one. I, took, I had this listed for $59.87 plus shipping and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. And all those all sold very quickly. Let me show you the seat on this there it is right there it has a little triangle seat where you sit down in the field when you're turkey hunting and you're not sitting on the ground a pretty nice vest next up this reebok green bay packers super bowl what is that 35 45 yeah 45 <laughs> there it is 45 sweatshirt i was actually trying to cipher the roman numerals and i had the 45 right next to it dummy <laughs> Uh, I had this for a while, but it was, I should have steamed it. You know, the picture's not that good. You know, I could have, th this is a good example of a listing that could have been done better. But I had this listed for $29.69 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. I still got full asking, even though the uh, listing wasn't that great. Who knows if I would have steamed that sweatshirt, took a little bit better picture, maybe I got $5 more. Uh, never know now, because it has shipped. Um, I, I picked this up, I only paid like $5 for it, so still good money. Pretty nice sell. This next sell is really awesome. The Salvatore Ferragamo shoes. Uh, these were just in a haul, <clears throat> a haul video, two or three haul videos ago, and I paid about fifteen dollars for these. And these were like new. I list them as pre-owned, but they were in spectacular condition. I remember the haul video because I called them skis because they are a size fifteen D, and they were huge. They were massive, but they were in perfect condition. Uh, not much into these, you know, 15 bucks. I had a list, I listed them for one thirty nine ninety eight. after extensively researching the comps. Most of these shoes in a little bit worse condition were selling in between 60 and $90. So I went high because of the condition on these. And immediately after listing these, I had a, another professional reseller contact me, try to lowball me. I didn't have best offers on this. And they were like, will you take a hundred bucks? Will you do this? Will you do this? I'm like, no, I just listed them. I think my price is fair, and I think you know that, because I looked at their other listings, their listings, and they sold these Salvatore Ferragamos for a living. That's basically all they did was shoes, and they knew it, you know. They were trying to make a buck off of me. But I held firm, and they said, okay, fine, and they didn't buy them, and uh, somebody else just a day or two later paid full price for them, and they're gone. Really, really nice flip on that. Super quick, good money, high profit margin. Love those shoes. Next up, another Eddie Bauer vest. This is a men's goose down reversible. It was green and tan, a size extra large. I uh, paid about $7.50 for this, just like normal. And I had this listed for $59.87 plus shipping and took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. So pretty good sell. Next up, this Revel Ford Ranger pickup model. Um, this was brand new in the shelf worn box which I disclosed, of course. I only paid like $1.50 for this uh, not too long ago. Um, I yeah, got this listed up and listed it a little bit cheaper but just because the box was in rough condition. And I know some of that, the box is some of the collectability for these model collectors. And uh, But the insides, you know, all the packages were sealed and the instructions, I had everything with it. Like I said, I just paid like $1, $1.50 for this, listed it for $20 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for, 20 bucks plus shipping. Super quick, too. Next up, this Crabtree and Evelyn Summer Hill, Summer Hill Hydrating Body Mist, brand new in the box. We got these in one of the bag, those bags. We get the hodgepodge bags for like 
two or three dollars, not much. Uh, got this not too long ago. This was also in a haul video three or four videos ago. Got this listed up and it sold fairly quickly, uh, February 1st. For, uh, had it listed for $59.98 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. Full asking, 60 bucks plus shipping on something I had 2 or $3 in. Really nice. Next up, this Boulevard Brewing Company out of Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, Boulevard Brewing Beer uh, hoodie. And this was a... Oh, I didn't have the size in this. That was a, a oversight on my part. I should have had the size in the title. But there it's made by Concert Fleece by District. It was a large, uh, probably a unisex large, more than likely. Uh, had this listed for $38.12 and took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Next up, a Sleeping Beauty 2-disc Platinum Edition, brand new, factory sealed. Uh, if you watch me, you know I pick up these DVDs and t you know sets all the time for just a, a, from a dollar to three dollars a piece. Um, yeah, they, these are easy to list, super fast, and I listed this one and it sold super quick for fourteen ninety eight plus plus shipping, full asking. Next up, this have a woolly good Christmas dairy cow and sheep does clothes mug set and you can tell i had this for a while because the picture is awful <laughs> this is one of the worst pictures i think i've ever seen the lighting the background stuff everywhere just bad just terrible but like i say all the time i will show the good with the bad and this is bad but the sale is okay uh, we had 50 cents in each into these so you know a buck for the pair and had these listed for 22.49 plus shipping and took a best offer of 18 dollars plus shipping next up this adidas uh, university of tennessee lady balls warm-up jacket is extra large i think i paid about five bucks for this and um back in the day this would have sold for a lot bigger prices but since pat summit has passed away and isn't in the tennessee program is not as uh, great as they used to be had this one for a few months and uh you know, brought, dropped the price, dropped the price, and uh, had it at twenty four seventy four, and took end up taking a best offer of twenty bucks plus shipping just to get it out of the inventory. That is unfortunate because that program used to be top notch. But uh, yeah, found a new home regardless though. Next up, something I sell a brand I sell quite a bit is Kakadu, Kakadu Traders. These are hand painted lap trays. Uh, uh, artist signed however you say that name root shahar these are set of eight they were in not great condition uh, we picked these up for only about 10 bucks for all eight of them but uh, they were definitely used they had all different patterns and designs they were really neat and you know we look for unusual stuff all the time but yeah they were definitely used. see i put, took a picture of that scratch there and scratch on the back and they were like that almost all of them there's the signature, but I had these listed for $105.59 plus shipping, and I took a best offer of $49 plus shipping just to move them on. You know, taking into account the condition, everything still made really good profit on those. Next up, another thing that sold super fast, uh, this Ultrasonics toothbrush ultrasound set made by Salton. You know, they don't make these anymore. These were brand new, sealed in the box. Uh, like I said, we got these. This was in a haul video probably three videos ago. Uh, they had these priced pretty high at the thrift store. They had these marked at $50, but it was half price day on the color of these remarks. We got these for $25. Uh, had these priced for $129.98 plus shipping, and that is what they sold for really quickly. $130 bucks plus shipping. Nice. Next up, this Burberry London Black plaid diamond quilted coat jacket and <laughs> a mouthful of women's large we bought two of these burberries at the same time the other one has sold a month or two ago had this one for a little bit longer because i had it priced higher uh, had this priced at 3.99 plus shipping the black was just more desirable the design the pattern um yeah just really nice and we picked these up we paid 50 dollars each for these jackets these two burberries and the, like i said the first one sold for I think 175 or so a couple months ago. 
and this one sold we took a best offer of three hundred dollars plus shipping on this one so really really nice a really nice jacket made in england i mean it was used listed as such but it was still very good very very nice love that flip next up this teeter inversion table mat it's a floor mat you know to put underneath your teeter inversion table uh picked this up for i think about five bucks and had this listed for 29.98 plus shipping and took a best offer of 25.98 plus shipping on that item and next we go over to our other account here uh, let me see i'll start here yeah i'm gonna sign into my other account on my phone because i don't know what i took a best offer on and not so <laughs> give me just a second here I guess I should have just had my iPad here signed into the other account already. That would have been a what a smart man would have done, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I'm not that bright. Okay, so we're almost there. There we go. So first up, we have this L.L. Bean Gore-Tex Men's Bucket Hat. Paid about 4 or $5 for this. I had this listed for $40.29 and took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Next up, this five-piece lobster seafood set. So this had the cracker and the forks in it, the pickers, and get all the meat out of the lobster. Uh, these are vintage, made of rosewood. Uh, these are a nice little pickup you can find them. They're not like super fast sell sellers, but they're usually cheap when you can find them. Because you know, like this one, we picked this up for I think three dollars and fifty cents. Had it listed for forty-four ninety-nine plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. Full asking, forty-five bucks plus shipping. Had this for a long time, but it was still worth the pickup. This 1991 Spinal Tap Drummer Audition T-shirt uh, by Brockham Group. It's an extra large. Picked this up for just a couple dollars and had it for a long time. You can tell by the picture. The picture is very, very poor. But uh, this was a nice shirt, nice condition. You know, everyone loves Spinal Tap. And there's the 1991. Oh, there's the back with the uh, I Survive Spinal Tap Drummer Audition pretty cool shirt uh, this is the reason why i you know i should look through the shirts more often but it's a grind because finding the stuff that fits my parameters now is pretty tough but this one does uh, like i said just a couple bucks had it listed for 112 dollars 49 plus shipping took a best offer of 50 dollars plus shipping so 50 bucks for a t-shirt <laughs> it's pretty darn good even though i took a big discount on it but it was listed for quite a while Next up to another poor picture. Well, I got a lot of rid of a lot of long tail stuff. That was really nice. I uh, had this Cambro set of five cafeteria food trays. These were used. Paid a, just a dollar or dollar fifty a piece for these. Got these at Goodwill actually. Didn't pay much for them. Had these listed for fifty nine ninety nine plus shipping and took a best offer of thirty dollars plus shipping. Last item is this Sony battery pack uh, AC charger. The, acp aduc uh picked this up for just like a buck or so back when i was still doing this kind of stuff reduced the price on it i think i had it listed at 20 bucks and reduced it down to 10 plus shipping and that's what it sold for nine dollars 98 cents plus shipping so that is it everyone that is 25 items that sold on ebay uh thank you everyone thank all the subscribers the new subscribers our, our patrons you guys are awesome this video will be up tonight for you guys for our patrons uh, thank you for all the to all the super chatters and our live videos, which our live videos are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 a.m. till about 10:15 a.m. Uh, this morning, Denise uh, from Minnesota gave a nice super chat, and we appreciate her for doing that. Uh, this pub this video will be made public tomorrow on YouTube uh, tonight for patrons, of course. Um, and thank everyone again, and we will see you guys back on Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern with our live video. Thanks, guys.